Hello there friends, welcome again to Nanava's Kitchen. And if you're stopping by for the first time today, I want to say a warm welcome to you and thank you so much for choosing to join us today. On the menu is our fresh tilapia soup. This is a, one of those common dishes in Ghana that most people enjoy. We're using all natural flavors and ingredients today. I can't wait to get started. Let's wash our hands and begin. Yes, friends, so the fishmonger has this complimentary service where they will clean up your fish for you after you pick it out of the pool of live tilapia. And that's what happened in this instance. So they removed the scales, they gutted the fish, but I'm putting some finishing touches on it. Sometimes some of the scales still remain, so I've removed those, washed it out really nicely. And then I've also cut the mouth off, including the teeth. Now I'm just cutting them into my preferred sizes. And then we're going to move forward with the next step, which is, you know, introducing the flavors that are so important to bring this fish to life. And the next step is preparing our marinade, which this fish desperately needs. So I have onions. I'm also going to include some ginger. Now the ginger, you need to cut into small pieces because they have strands in them. So when you cut them up into small pieces and blend them, they blend a lot smoother. Now I also have three cloves of garlic that just joined. And then I'm also including my petite bell chilies, which you may substitute with your habaneros and scotch bonnets. Now in here I have anise, rosemary, cloves, black and white peppercorns, and they're all the same amount, uh, just a quarter teaspoon each. Now this is my homemade dry smoked shrimp, which is going to bring us that needed depth of flavor. I'm adding my red bell peppers, so I use half of the whole. I've added some water and a little bit of salt because this is the marinade after all. So we're going to blend till smooth and we're going to incorporate only half of the marinade onto the fish. Set the other half aside because we'll use that a little later on. Massage your fish perfectly so every nook and cranny within it receives this beautiful marinade. We have three hours today to marinate our tilapia. Remember that tilapia is fish, however, it's not seafood, it is fresh water. So it does require a little longer to marinate, to really take on the flavors of uh, your marinade. Now I'm adding the other half of my red bell pepper and some tomatoes, and I'm going to blend it with the rest of my marinade. We're going to blend till smooth again. So at this point, we're going to begin preparation of the actual soup. You need an onion for that, so here's our marinade. So we're gonna let that sit aside until we're ready to incorporate it. Now I have a, another onion, a medium sized red onion, and I thinly slice them because I'm going to caramelize these onions. So on medium heat, my pot goes, and I pour in my good old favorite oil for cooking, which is my cold pressed coconut oil. And you need about two to three tablespoons. Now I'm going to add the onions, and I'm also going to add some salt to it to get the onions to begin sweating. That really helps to caramelize the onions a lot sooner than later. So cook it for about three minutes and you, the smell at this point of grilled onions is just out of this world. I've added two heaping tablespoons full of uh, my tomato paste. Now that also needs to be cooked out. So I'm going to cook it another five extra minutes, okay, until we cook out that canned flavor. While you're doing this, remember what you're really doing is developing your flavors. You are transforming these ingredients and bringing that depth of flavor that this soup so requires. So now we're adding the rest of our marinade, which includes our tomatoes as well. So at this point, you're gonna just stir it up and then you're going to cover the pot and turn your heat down to the lowest setting. What we're doing here is going to reduce at this point, it will take 35 minutes to reduce this mixture and see right there, this is what we're looking for. I have added my some more smoked dry shrimp pieces. I've left them whole, that's an optional step. Now I'm also including my fish pieces. It's been marinating for th uh, three hours, so it is just perfect at this point. I'm also going to add the rest of the marinade from the fish. And at this point, we're going to crank our heat back up to the medium setting. And now I'm adding a liter and a half 
of hot boiling water to reconstitute the broth from the base that we spent a good amount of time um, in creating. So there we go now, just mix it up because you want to, that broth to come alive. Perfect. Now it's been five minutes into the preparation since including the fish. Okay, so it's safe to stir the soup up uh, because the fish is not at its most delicate stage. You can stir the soup up, obviously be gentle at the same time. And this is just to get all the ingredients well incorporated with each other. Now I'm going to add some more aromatics. It's been 20 minutes now in, in cooking the soup. I've added some whole chilies, another optional step. I just like my whole chilies in my uh, bowl of soup. I find it very refreshing. Now I'm going to thicken the soup and I have my good old cornstarch solution. Two teaspoons of cornstarch. Now it, I pick a spot in the soup. I go in with my ladle and gently agitate that spot only, um, avoiding stirring the entire soup because the fish will disintegrate. Um, by gently agitating that spot, you are really distributing the cornstarch or your thickening solution throughout the entire soup. So we cook another five minutes after adding our thickener and turn the heat off. Our soup is done cooking. You may use corn, um, corn dough or cassava dough. I've even seen gari in this preparation before if you have access to that. Um, whatever you'd like to thicken your soup with is perfect. Now that I've, I've added uh, my basil to it, another optional step, but it freshens everything up in the end. Look at how the fish stayed together. No disintegrating occurred. The fish is perfectly uh, kept its uh, integrity and it's looking very delicious and mouthwatering. I served this with my cauliflower banco, which has been a hit in my home. If you haven't tried that recipe, you ought to. The video is linked below. I served it with my cauliflower banco and I also added some okra and spinach steamed together. And let me tell you, I was in heaven when I sat down and enjoyed the fruit of my labor. Thank you so much for watching and try the recipe. Come back and let me know how it goes. I appreciate you all for your support and your kindness and your love. Make it a great day and have fun.